Good morning, kids. I miss you already. You're up for a challenge on your first virtual day assignment that will be due Friday. A uh, quick review of two-point perspective to start. Um, most of you took home paper or you may have your sketchbook with you. So the first thing to remember in two-point perspective is that we use two points on a horizon line. So let's say those are our two points and that is our horizon line. To make a box in two-point perspective, if you are below the horizon line, you draw a line first. That represents the corner of the box. If you didn't take a ruler home, all you need is a straight edge for this. So you can fold the paper out of your sketchbook or one of the pieces of paper that I gave you. And you're going to line up the bottom of the box with the vanishing point. I'll label this one vanishing point one and this one vanishing point two. And you draw an orthogonal line. I'm going to make it dotted at the end because I'm using a Sharpie. So if this line were to go all the way to the vanishing point, it would touch it. So I'm going to do that on the top and bottom. To each vanishing point. Now I look like you have a um, couple of triangles there. You're going to decide how big into space you want your box to go and you're going to draw a line that is parallel to that corner line that you drew. So try not to skew that line by making it diagonal. You can use your straight edge and just kind of pull it over to figure out how much depth you want on your box. Now this box needs a lid or a top to it. So you're going to take the line that is on the right hand side. The top of that line is going to go over to the left hand vanishing point. The top of the box on the left hand side will go right over here to vanishing point two. So now you have a box in two-point perspective, and I would erase all these orthogonals right here. Boop, 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 boop. And this is from bird's eye view because you're looking down at the box. Now this would be the same procedure if you are doing it from above the horizon line. You'll start with your straight line. You'll make sure that the top and the bottom of the line go to both vanishing point number one and vanishing point number two. This time I didn't draw the orthogonals all the way since I'm using a sharpie. And then I will take the left hand line to the right hand vanishing point right hand over to the left. I would have to race that little dangling orthogonal right there. And this would be from bird's eye view. I'm going to turn the paper over and you can watch what that would look like from people's eye view. Nope, I'm not going to turn the paper over because I used a sharpie. If you are creating a two-point perspective box from people's eye view, this would be like if you're drawing a house or something. You're going to imagine this is your horizon line. And you're going to draw the line right on top of the horizon line. Remember in the other one, we started the line below or above. So same procedure. This one's a little bit easier. So vanishing point one, vanishing point two, the top and the bottom of this line will go to vanishing point one and vanishing point two. It looks like a kite when you're done. Something like that. Then you decide how big you want your box to be in space and draw a parallel line to your original corner line. And that is your box in two point perspective. And you would erase these orthogonals. 
So that is the first lesson. Now we're going to get a little more complex in the next video. So practice this first.